Welcome to the 2024 Horizon Report, Teaching and Learning Edition, where we delve into the transformative challenges and opportunities facing higher education today. We've been hearing about a return to normalcy in higher education, but let's be real, things are far from business as usual. Public trust in higher ed is dropping, enrollments are down, and we're all scrambling to prove our worth. Adding to the complexity is the evolving landscape of data and analytics. Generative AI is emerging as a game changer, promising to revolutionize teaching and learning in ways we are still striving to understand. So what does all this mean for the future of higher education? That's what we're here to explore. We asked the Horizon panelists to share the big trends they think will shape the future of teaching and learning in higher ed. We looked at five categories, social, tech, economic, environmental, and political. Here's what the panel found to be the top trends across these categories. Since 2015, negative public perceptions about higher education and the value of a college degree have grown. Young people are uncertain that a degree will help them secure a well-paying job and are put off by the debt they would accumulate by attending college. Institutional leaders might need to rethink what teaching and learning looks like to better attract, retain, and serve students. Student populations are becoming more diverse in terms of ethnicity, gender, age, generational status, and economic background. Universities and colleges will need to be prepared to meet students where they are and to find ways to demonstrate the value proposition of higher education to the broader population, including non-traditional students and those from traditionally underserved populations. The rise of hybrid-based learning during the pandemic allowed students to discover new ways of accessing education and has led to a growing demand for flexible and personalized options for learning. Institutions will need to put more investments into ensuring that high-quality programs and courses are developed and implemented in addition to building the infrastructure to support the needs of programs that are not fully on-site, including up-to-date technologies. Some colleges and universities have been hit with more cyber attacks lately. It seems like as soon as schools beef up their security, scammers find a new way to get around it. Increasing awareness and concern on the part of students could press institutions to be more transparent and provide opportunities for students to opt out and have more control of their data. Institutional leaders are increasingly aware that learning analytics are becoming more sophisticated and can be used in a number of ways to improve student success, including the development of personalized and adaptive learning experiences. As more data continues to be collected, institutions will need to have strategic plans for how to use that data to improve student outcomes and ensure that stakeholders will be equipped to effectively use it while mitigating potential risks. Universities and colleges are continuing to explore ways to make learning equitable, such as by providing loaner devices to students, partnering with local governments and organizations to expand internet access and more. Still, the divide persists, and now students who lack access to technology are falling behind in the latest technologies, such as AI. Institutions need to find ways to provide access to devices and networks, while also training and supporting faculty and instructional designers to be able to help students navigate digital learning. Digitization and automation are disrupting the workforce, leading to the elimination of some jobs and the creation of others. Moving forward, the ability to remain agile and responsive to changing learning needs is more important than ever. Universities and colleges will need to develop a model in which curriculum can be changed quickly to meet the demands of the workforce. Employee retention issues continue to trouble not only higher ed, but also the workforce more generally. Institutions and companies are understaffed, causing increased workloads, burnout, a rapid loss of institutional knowledge, and diminished ability to achieve strategic goals. Higher ed institutions need to find ways to be competitive in the job market, focusing on salary, workplace flexibility, and opportunities for mobility and growth. Concerns over student debt continue to grow, especially in the United States. Younger generations are now increasingly concerned about the high cost of higher ed, as they have seen earlier generations struggling with debt. Institutions need to find ways to move away from a model that places high costs on students who have low economic power during and even after college 
as they first navigate the workplace. Climate change is affecting us all. And because of that, universities and colleges are stepping up their game when it comes to sustainability. A rise in sustainability-minded students will likely guide campus policy decisions moving forward. Institutional efforts towards sustainability include reducing their carbon emissions, using renewable sources of energy, composting food waste, installing wind turbines, and putting stronger emphasis on sustainability in their curriculum. The use of big data continues to be on the rise globally. While it's useful for spotting trends and tackling issues like work processes, healthcare, and climate change, its fast growth has some people worried about its environmental impact. Institutions should look to work more closely with technology companies, not only as a means of better understanding their own data emissions, but also to forge pathways to a sustainable data solution. It's predicted that most jobs will at some point require green skills, especially as more and more industries undergo a green transformation, along with a rise in the green economy. If colleges and universities don't focus on making this training robust and applicable to all disciplines, we could see the green skills gap continue to widen, leaving students unprepared for the workforce. Political distrust in the U.S. continues to drive polarization, making Americans more negative, exhausted, and angry. This leads to more government influence and tensions on campuses, making it harder for faculty and students to have meaningful discussions and learning experiences. Institutions will need to foster a climate where individuals don't feel like their academic freedom is being restricted, and where faculty and students feel appreciated and included, regardless of their social identities or political leanings. Legislative efforts to regulate teaching and campus initiatives stand foremost among recent concerns in higher education. Tuition, financial aid, and student debt continue to be convoluted areas to navigate as governments and institutions try to figure out ways to make higher education more affordable, with progress often being stalled by partisan division. All of these factors intersect to impact teaching and learning experiences. In recent years, AI-powered tools like generative AI have taken off, but their rapid development makes it hard to grasp the risk. There is a growing consensus that policies are needed to ensure ethical and responsible use. While governments make progress with their policy efforts, institutions are implementing their own policies and should continue. This would include implementing processes for regular review and revision in the face of ongoing technological progress. This year, we are including a special honorary trend, artificial intelligence. AI is making waves everywhere, including higher ed. AI is changing the way we communicate. It's being used more and more in human interactions and conversations. And discussion is increasing about the ways in which AI may shape not only human communication, but more broadly, socio-emotional skills. More and more uses for AI in the classroom are emerging. And these technologies have the potential to change the landscape of teaching and learning and the student experience in a variety of ways for better or worse. Higher education institutions will need to prepare to navigate the incorporation of AI into their own business models and workflows, as well as to align their programs to prepare students for the changing workforce. The growth in environmental AI technologies also presents an opportunity for universities and colleges to offer interdisciplinary curriculum in which students can increase their emerging technology competencies and green skills, both of which will be needed in the workforce. The emergence of AI in civic life may also provide institutions with an opportunity to develop more curriculum on trust, both political and technological, as the increasing use of AI in politics may further perpetuate trust issues toward governments and AI.